Here is a question for you. After training apps, do you take off your shirt and look for immediate results? I know everyone at my gym does, including me. Obviously, it's a pointless habit and we all know that muscle growth takes time and improvements and don't happen overnight. Still, if you want to optimize your workouts, it's an important question to ask how much muscle gain you can expect over a certain period of time. Knowing this will not only help you get sense of perspective where you stand, but also keep you from buying into shady marketing and products that promise to deliver results after only a few days. Now, before we go into the numbers, I need to clarify something. Many people, especially those not satisfied with their results, believe that how much muscle you can build in a week, month or years depends entirely on genetics. While it is true that they always play a big role, bad genetics are usually not the reason for below average muscle growth, but instead a lack of the right workout, diet and mindset. Also note that the numbers I'm about to share with you are all based on data from Lyle McDonald's, one of the most respected researchers in bodybuilding. This values respect the average muscle growth one can expect under optimal conditions. Optimal conditions means doing everything right from your workout to your diet to your rest. Unfortunately, there is very little data available for women. So we have to use the old rule of thumb from the man's growth rate. So let's start with how much muscle you can gain in a week. Under optimal conditions and in your first year of training, you can expect to gain a quarter to a half a pound of lean muscle per week for men and half that for women. In your second year of training, it will be about half of that. In your third year of training, half of the second year. So as you can see, the longer you train, the more difficult it becomes to add lean muscle. Now, what about in a month? In your first year of training, this could be one to two pounds of lean muscle per month for men and a half to one pound for women. Again, for the second and third year, we just halve these values. And in a year, this will be for your first year of training, 20 to 25 pounds of lean muscle for men and 10 to 12 pounds of lean muscle for women. Now, for many people, these values will seem very high, especially if you have already been training for a year and have not seen these results. This is why I'm emphasized that these values are somewhat theoretical. It assumes that you are trained under perfect conditions and have nothing else in your mind than bodybuilding. This won't apply to 99% of beginners out there. Not only because we all have school or work to worry about, but also you make a lot of mistakes as a beginner. So the point of this video is not to demotivate you, but to show you what is theoretically possible. Even more important than hitting these values is that you stick to your workout and be consistent with it. Because long-term adherence always beats short-term motivation. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.